The apples are ripe. After work, Rüdiger Biel loves relaxing in his garden. He lives in the tiny town of Langula, just north of the Heinich National Park. My family has lived in this house for many decades. My father and my grandfather were both forest rangers in the Heinich woods. The love of the forest is in our blood. But the region is not just a natural paradise. Rüdiger Biel wants to show us its culture and history, too. I'm taking you to some beautiful spots in the Heinich region. His first tip takes us north, to Mühlhausen. The historic town wall is more than 800 years old. In the 19th century, some of the old fortified towers were turned into garden houses for wealthy citizens of the town. In another tower, the Rabenturm, or Raven Tower, a steep climb is rewarded with a spectacular view. Whenever I come to the Mühlhausen city wall, I love to climb up the Rabenturm. It's my favorite spot because of the wonderful view over the historic old town and the imposing St. Mary's Church right in front of you. The old town boasts 11 churches. In the Middle Ages, Mühlhausen was the most important city in Thüringen after Erfurt. The radical theologian Thomas Münzer preached here during the Peasants' Revolt of the 16th century. Now we're off to my next tip. It's Bad Langsalza, the spa town east of the Heinich National Park, on the edge of the Thuringian Basin. There are several themed gardens there, and we're visiting one of them, but I won't tell you which one yet. Rüdiger Biel has chosen the Japanese garden. It's one of ten different gardens arrayed along Bad Langensalz's spa park. The Garden of Felicity reflects traditional Japanese garden design. This is my favorite spot in the Japanese garden, close to the water. The water filters away the noise from the surroundings and you can relax in the stillness. The Japanese garden is really the opposite of the Heinich National Park. There, nature is left on its own. Here, nature is artfully designed, but it still exudes harmony. Rüdiger Biel's third tip is Wartburg Castle, near Eisenach, a short drive southwest of Heinich. This is where Martin Luther translated the New Testament into German. The Romanesque palace, or Great Hall, at the heart of the castle is nearly 1,000 years old. My favorite spot on the Wartburg is the banquet hall in the palace. It is impressive to look at, but it's even better when there's a concert. I really recommend to attend one. The castle stands on a precipice 195 meters high and offers a terrific panoramic view of the surroundings. The Wartburg has a wonderful view of the city of Eisenach. And you can see the Heinich National Park in the background. That's Wartburg, a UNESCO cultural heritage site, and Heinich, part of a UNESCO natural heritage site, are so close as very special, unique in Germany. 